Hi, and welcome to Mind123. I'm Chantal Broderick, and today I'm joined by psychotherapist Sarah Bergman. Sarah, welcome along. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Chantal. So today, can you give us an understanding of exactly what is stress? Okay, so stress is a normal bodily response to a situation that feels threatening. And what happens is our nervous system reacts and we go into a fight-flight response and our body dumps adrenaline and cortisol through the body. So our muscles get tight and we're ready for action. And so that way we can meet the challenge or the threat. And then once we've done that, the cortisol and adrenaline release from our body and we feel more relaxed again. Whereas people with overstress, when they become overstressed, that cortisol and adrenaline just keeps running through their body and they constantly feel like they're under threat as they're trying to reach the demands of life and they just go, 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 go. And that can be really unhealthy on your body and also on your mental health, on your relationships and your productivity at work. So can you share any examples of us of maybe a patient you've treated that has been in that overstressed state? Mm -hmm. How has it affected them specifically or how has it affected their life being in that state? Well, people who are overstressed often become really mentally, physically and psychologically exhausted. They're just, they just feel spent. They feel very tired and they're not quite sure what's going on because they've been in this state for such a long time. So it's about me just trying to help them to slow down and for them to recognise that they're in a state of stress and that they need to um, maybe change their lifestyle habits and get some routine and some relaxation. And yeah. What are some examples of those lifestyle habits? Are we talking diet and exercise? What type of things can overstressed people do? Well, they can, of course, of course, diet and exercise is really important, but having time to relax, having time, meditation is great for stress, and also just being in the company of friends and family and just, you know, chilling out, basically. <laughs> Taking it easy, and I imagine seeking professional help is a big part of that solution, am I right? Yeah, if, uh, if it's ongoing, definitely seek um, professional help to work out, you know, what's what's the underlying cause for this stress because sometimes people are stressed out because they feel insecure or they, they're perfectionists and they, it's, that's driving them to just do more and more and more and more and they don't kind of have an off switch and they don't have any choice they don't know how to say no Sarah thank you so much for joining me today and giving us a better understanding of stress thank you Chantelle